Hey everybody, welcome to the Mid-Level Media channel. I'm Ken and I've got a very important announcement to make. Um, apparently, dollar Blu-rays and DVDs are back at the Dollar Tree. And uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to take you guys in there and we're going to see what we can find. Can we find anything good? Let's find out. Alright everybody, so I just got out of the Dollar Tree and there wasn't a ton um, in terms of like new Blu-rays. I was hoping there would be some more Blu-rays in there. There were a lot of DVDs and actually a lot of DVDs that I thought were picking up. So I ended up getting about six DVDs and one Blu-ray that I found that I thought might be worth a watch someday. So um, I'll go ahead and show you my Blu-ray first, my one lonely Blu-ray. This is a double feature um, with two very prominent actors. Uh, you have Sean Bean and Dolph Lundgren in Age of Heroes and Blood of Redemption. So I've never heard of any uh, either of these movies before, but uh, I know for a fact that if Sean Bean's in it, he probably dies at the end of this movie. So yeah, this is worth me checking out maybe one day, some random watch, I get bored. Maybe I'm like 60 or something when I finally watch it. But um, yeah, this is like two movies that your, your your dad or your grandfather would watch for sure. So in a double pack. So it, always for a dollar, two movies, you can't beat that. So I went and picked it up. I also got, and I went over this last uh, Blu-ray hunt that I did about a week and a half ago, but I went ahead and grabbed this Elizabeth Harvest because I found it if the DVD in it that where the disc wasn't actually shaking. It was funny because this is a completely different Dollar Tree, but I found another Elizabeth Harvest in there and the disc was shaking in that one as well. So I got this DVD, no disc shake, uh, good to go. So yeah, excited to have this one because I actually heard some pretty good things about this one. I think it came out like two years ago or something like that. So I'll check that one out at some point. Also got another horror movie called AMI. I've never heard of this film before in my life, but I love finding these kind of random horror pickups. Eventually at some point I'm going to find some, so I'm going to fit some sort of video in there where I can actually watch some of these random horror DVDs that I pick up. I'm going to work it into my, into my channel somehow. I just, I don't know all the details yet, 
but I'm going to figure out how to do it so I can watch some of these crappy horror films that I keep finding at the Dollar Tree. So AMI is the latest in my crap junk horror collection. All right, guys, next up, guys, is a film that was directed by Clint Eastwood um, that did not get rave reviews when it came out, unlike a lot of his other films. But this one's called 1517 to Paris. I heard a lot of bad things about this one, but I never got to check it out. For a dollar, sure, I'll check it out someday. So that is 1517 to Paris on DVD. Also got this pretty um, underrated Jason Sudeikis. Um, I think, uh, let's see, who else is it? Allison Brie, a uh, romantic comedy that came out a few years ago. It's called Sleeping with Other People. I remember watching this on Netflix, I believe, and enjoying it quite a bit. So I went ahead and picked up the DVD for that, and uh, I'll give it a rewatch at some point. At some point, I will rewatch it. This is another one that I watched. I think it came out in 2018. This one actually had the slip cover too, which was pretty cool. This is called Don't Think Twice, which is kind of a, a commentary on like the um, comedy scene. Um, these young up-and-comers kind of coming up through the stand-up comedy uh, ranks. One of them gets um, uh, hired to be on like an SNL type show. I'm not sure if it is SNL in this movie or if it's just like an SNL type show. And it kind of goes through just uh, how friends react uh, to their friend's success, how he reacts to them after he becomes successful. And it's a really interesting film that's not entirely funny. There's also some really um, good drama in there as well, some really good emotional moments also, if I remember correctly. But yeah, this is a this is a really good movie. I think I had like a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes too. So happy to find this one in there. I'll rewatch that one at some point too. Great cast in the film as well. Um, this last one, it was an entire season of television. I got Dirk Gently's um, Holistic Detective Agency. So this is a show starring Elijah Wood that came out on BBC, I think, two or three years ago. Um, and I actually heard some pretty good things about it. It's only like six episodes long. But yeah, for a dollar, a whole season of television, you cannot beat that. So with that, guys, that is my Dollar Tree haul for the day. I am glad that I actually found something that was cool. So yeah, I'm going to put this video up for your guys' enjoyment so you can see what I got uh, from the Dollar Tree. So yeah. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. There's probably somebody that's discovering me for the first time on this video. Hit the subscribe button. I do all kinds of awesome Blu-ray DVD hunts. I do a weekly Blu-ray hunt where I go out into the Walmarts and the Targets and show you all all the new releases and pick stuff up. And it's totally, completely awesome. So hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to like this video, guys. I would appreciate every single like. Every single person that watches this video, hit that like button. And also, leave a comment down below. Did you get to go out and, and take advantage of this Dollar Tree sale? What did you find in your Dollar Trees? I'm always super interested to find out and to, and to see um, all the awesome stuff that you all got in stores because a lot of times you all find way more cool stuff than I do so really interesting to hear so definitely comment that down below also turn on all those bell notifications for future videos and we will see you next time